For those of you who don't know me, I'm Eva's dad. And for those of you who do know me, you'll know I'm a sentimental type of guy, as you'll gather from my speech. But all, all seriousness, on behalf of Kathy, myself, Eric Shirley, the Anderson and Hodgins family, I would like to sincerely welcome you all family and close friends here today to celebrate the biggest day in Aoife and Niall's life. Welcome Niall into our family is very easy for me and Cathy. He's been there so long, he's already part of our family. The first time Niall called to take Aoife out was to a, take her to a wedding. We didn't know Niall at the time, but knew the Hodgins family in Ballycarrow. We asked Niall to take care of Aoife. He winked at me and said he definitely would. But we didn't need to worry, as Niall turned out to be a true gentleman. He's one of the nicest guys you could meet. Eric and Shirley, you should be so proud of your son. You reared him so well, he's a credit to both of you.
never forget it. It was Saturday, the 3rd of November, 2018. Niall rang me and asked me could we meet for a chat. I genuinely didn't know what to expect, but we met up for a coffee, which I think I paid for as well, Niall, didn't I? Niall asked me could he ask Aoife to be his wife. It was such a nice and traditional thing to do, but that Nile for you. It was easy for me to say yes, as I couldn't ask for a nicer young man to be my daughter's husband and her son-in-law. this little lady, she captured my heart on the day she was born. She's my little girl, my princess and my ray of sunlight. And no matter what age, she'll always be those things to me. And today I couldn't be more proud, if a little sad, to walk her up the aisle to marry the man of her dreams. For me, if it was a little girl to now, she was the sort of person who could get on with everyone. Make friends easily and put people at ease with her manner and personality. Myself and Cathy are so proud of her many achievements in her short life. She has brought us to more places around the country because of her love of music and singing. We went to competitions and concerts all over. We probably would never have visited these places only for Aoife. And didn't she sound fantastic today with her song, especially for her new husband, Nile? Niall didn't know that song was there, but Aoife, you made a beautiful job of it. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Audrey Gallagher. I'm the Registrar for Civil Marriages for this area, and I welcome each and every one of you, family and friends, here today to celebrate with Niall and Aoife on their wedding day. We are gathered here in the presence of each other in order that Niall and Aoife should be joined together in the covenant of marriage. This is a union not to be taken lightly, inadvisably or thoughtlessly, but with true love and commitment. Best of luck now, Aoife and Nile, on your wedding day. And I know it will be a very special day for everyone. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I wish you the best of luck in the future. Me, is it? Yeah. Uh, Eve and I, I'm delighted to be here and I wish you the best of luck, health and happiness through the years. And plenty of babies. Oh! <laughs> I, Nile. I, Nile. Do solemnly. 
do solemnly and sincerely declare and, and sincerely declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why we may not be joined why we may not be joined together in matrimony together in matrimony Aoife, repeat after me. Aoife, Aoife, do solemnly, do solemnly, and sincerely declare, and sincerely declare that I know not, that I know not of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why we may not be joined, why we may not be joined together in matrimony, together in matrimony. Nine. Do you understand the declaration you have now made? I do. Have you made the declaration of your own free will and without duress? I have. Aoife, do you understand the declaration you have now made? I do. Have you made the declaration of your own free will and without duress? I have. <laughs> Nile, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. <laughs> will you love her and comfort her in sickness and in health? I will. Aoife, Will you have this man to be your wedded husband? I will. Will you love him and comfort him in sickness and in health? I will. <laughs> I have already. <laughs> now I repeat after me. I call upon. I call upon. These persons. <coughs> these persons. Here present. Here present. To witness that I now. To witness that I now. Do take you, Aoife. Do take you, Aoife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I pledge to share my life with you. I pledge to share my life with you. I promise to love, honour and support you. I promise to love, honour and support you. I will respect you and be true to you. I will respect you and be true to you. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. To these promises I give my word. To these promises I give my word. Aoife, repeat after me. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Aoife. To witness that I, Aoife. To take you, Niall. To take you, Niall. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I pledge to share my life with you. I pledge to share my life with you. I promise to love, honour and support you. I promise to love, honour and support you. I will respect you and be true to you. I will respect you and be true to you. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. To these promises I give my word. To these promises I give my word. Aoife is no stranger to our house. No more than Niall was no stranger to Anderson's house. She's come around since about 2012, I think, when we met her first. Is that right, Niall? Yeah. I thought that. When, when myself and Shirley were coming back from a music festival in Letterkenny, Shirley got a phone call to say that she, Niall has a friend at home to meet. And Shirley says to me, I bet that's a girl now. So she Aoife. Aoife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. A symbol of all that we have promised. A symbol of all that we have promised. And all that we now share. And all that we now share. <laughs> Aoife, could you please place the ring on Niall's finger and repeat after me? Niall. Niall. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. A symbol of all that we have promised. A symbol of all that we have promised. And all that we now share. All that we now share. What a lovely way to end the year and decade by having a wedding and starting a new one, a new year and a new decade. We wish you all the very best of luck and wealth and happiness for the future. And if you are as happy as myself and Shirley, you will be very, very happy. I have to say. My last note, I'm going to raise your glasses to the Hodgins and family, Hodgins and Anderson family, reunion. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Civil Registration Act 2004, 
I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss your beautiful bride. marriage enters its 38th year, your love for each other is stronger than ever. And as I had enter married life today, I couldn't wish for a better example to follow. Our forever together starts today. Looking forward to seeing you at the top of the aisle. Have a brilliant day and enjoy the experience. I love you forever, Niall. X X X. Oh, oh. <laughs> not sweet. Yeah. Beautiful. Ah, oh, oh, not so cute. Oh. Niall, just wishing you a wonderful day. Wishing you a lifetime of happiness and it's going to be beautiful. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Hi, Niall and Aoife. We wish you the best of luck today. Have lots of fun, enjoy your day, and the best of luck in the future. Aoife and Niall, wishing you a wonderful wedding day. Thank you for having me as part of your special day, and all the best for the future. Aoife and Niall, wishing you every success and happiness in your future life together. I hope you really enjoy today. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. And thanks so much for having me as one of your bridesmaids. It's going to be really special. never to be angry. I cannot promise always to be kind. You know what you are taking on, my darling. It's only at the start that love is blind, and yet I'm still the one you want to be with, and you're the one for me. Of that, I'm sure. You are my closest friend, my favorite person, the lover and the home I've waited for. I cannot promise that I will deserve you. From this day on, I hope to pass the test. I love you and I want to make you happy. I promise I will do my very best.
tough times and there will be some hopefully not too often always try to remain friends and say I love you to each other every day and if you both look to your parents and their love for each other I don't think you go too far wrong and never forget we love you both we hope you believe in yourselves as much as we believe in both of you Wherever your journey in life may take you, we pray you will always be safe. Enjoy the ride, and never forget you're always welcome at home. We can't promise to be here for the rest of your lives, but we can promise to love you both for the rest of ours. And again, never forget, we love you both. Mm -hmm.